Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how missing values can cause your calculations to result in empty fields in your Microsoft Access databases. You ready? Here we go. Today's question comes from Liam from Omaha, Nebraska, one of my Platinum members. Liam says, I have a form where I enter in a couple of fixed costs for a service order, and then I itemize the services performed to get a total. The problem is it all works great unless one of those things is missing, then I get a blank result. What am I doing wrong? Well, Liam, I suspect that your function isn't written to take null values into consideration. Let's walk through it step by step. First, if you haven't watched my video on the NZ function, go watch this first. This shows you how to take a null value and convert it to zero. And also, since you are able to get a total if you have line items in your itemized subform, uh, you probably know how to do this. But for the rest of you, if you don't know how to add up and get a value from a subform, go watch this video. We're going to do that today as well. Okay, so Liam's subform, he sent me a picture of it in email. It looks very similar to my order form here, where you've got a list of items here, right? These are our order detail items, and you add these all up, and you get a total down here. In addition to this, Liam has a couple of fixed costs that he has. Let's say the order has a couple of fixed costs associated with it first, like maybe, let's say, a delivery fee, a service fee, whatever. Then he adds these up, and he gets a grand total at the bottom on the parent form. So let's add a couple of fields real quick to the order table, design view. Which, by the way, if you don't know how to build this stuff, go watch my invoicing video. I, I show you the complete steps to build this entire order entry system. It's all free. It's on my YouTube channel. It's on my website. Go watch it. Lots of good material there. But let's say we got two things here. Let's say we got, uh, let's say we got a service fee and we've got a delivery fee. I don't know. Right? We got another fee and an extra fee and a fee for the fee and the tax for the fee and the... You get the point, right? So there's, there's two additional fixed costs per order, which is similar to what Liam's doing. Okay, let's add those to the form, design view. Come right down here. So we've got the, the subtotal here for the items, and then we'll add the extra fees to the parent form because these are part of the order, not the order details, right? So let's go to form design. We'll go to the add existing fields, grab those two fees that we just added, and we'll put them down here. Okay, there's our service fee and our delivery fee. All right, we'll make these black so we can actually read them. Okay, service fee, delivery fee. Save it, close it, open it. All right, they're both null right now. Let's put values in here. I'll put 15 and 20. Okay, now we want to add these three things up. The service fee, the delivery fee, and that total from the subform. I want to add these all up and get a, a grand total for the order. This will be another calculated field. Why calculated? Well, we don't need to store this value in the table because we can calculate it on the fly, right? Yeah, yeah, there are exceptions to the rule, but generally you want to just leave calculated fields so you calculate them when you need them. You don't want to store these in the, in the database, generally, 99% of the time. All right, so I'm just gonna copy one of these guys, copy, paste, and we'll make this the grand total. Okay, grand total. We'll hold it, and we'll change this guy, so it's gonna be a calculated field now. So we'll go to all, we'll call it grand total. And what's the control source gonna be? Well, it's not bound to a field anymore, so delete that. We're gonna make it, let's start off with just the service fee and the delivery fee. Just those two things first. All right, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this better. Shift F2. Okay, so it's going to be equal to the service fee plus the delivery fee. Okay, just that for now. Hit OK. And I'll bold that too. Let's see. Let's click this guy just so you can tell it's the total. All right. And I like to make calculated values gray in the background. So let's go like just a light gray. Okay, save it, close it open it. All right, there's my $35. Now, here's the problem. If one of these things is missing, delete that guy. And look at that grand totals blank now. Okay, why? Because that's a null value. And as we know, 
if you add null to anything, the result is null. That's just how null works. If you add, if you got a bunch of numbers, you add them all up and one of them is null, the whole result is null. If you want to learn more about how null works, go watch this video. And null math is pretty cool too. I teach you some tricks about null math. Go watch that too. That's neat. Now, how do we fix this problem? Well, we fix this problem with the nz function. So let's go back to this guy. Come here. Let's go back to you. Right? Zoom in, shift F2. We can wrap these guys inside of nz like that. All right. Now, if you want the default to be zero, just leave it. You can leave it like that. Or you can specify comma zero if you want to specify a value. Like you can say, okay, if it's null, make it 10, whatever. All right. Or if this is a string, you could say make it an empty string. Or if it's a date, you could say make it 1190. All right, whatever. But I'm going to leave it like that. NZ will make it a zero since that is a currency value, right? NZ. Currencies and numbers will default to zero. That's why it's NZ, null to zero. Or null to zero length string, I guess, right? <laughs> All right, hit OK. Save it. Close it. Always save it. Close it open, guys. I don't like switching between form view and design view and back to form view. All right, now look at that. Now my service fee is null, but it still shows up as 20 down there. Okay, and yeah, you could use a little formatting if you want, so that if this is null, it'll still show a zero there. That's a formatting trick. I actually covered how to do that in yesterday's video, which is format currency. Go watch that, I'll put a link down below. Okay, so that handles these two guys. Let me put a value back in here, all right? Now, let's add this one in. Now, this comes into knowing how to get a value from a subform. Okay, how do we get a value from a subform? Well, if you watch the other video, you'll know that it's the name of the subform, which is order detail F, and then dot form, bang, the field name, which is some extended price. Okay, yeah, I know that's a lot. <laughs> so let's come back into here again. Okay, we're gonna add to that. What is it? It's gonna be order detail F, that's the name of the subform, dot form, bang, some extended price. Okay, hit okay, save it, close it, open it, and look at that. Now that adds that in. 90% of access is just knowing what to call stuff and <laughs> making sure you got field names spelled properly. Okay. But now, again, you've got the same problem with if you don't have any line items in there and this value is null, you're back to null again. How do we fix that? Well, we could put an NZ in here or we could also put an NZ right in here. Whichever one you want, it's up to you. If you don't want this one being empty, you could NZ this whole thing or just put the NZ in this guy. All right, put it right there. NZ. And then at the end there. Hit OK. Save it, close it, open it, and we're back to 30. Put something else in here, blah, 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 blah. 15, there you go. So that's it, that's pretty much it. It's a combination of knowing how to name something, how to get a value from a subform or a different form, right? I covered that in another video as well, and properly using the NZ function so you can deal with your null values, and that's it. See, a lot of this stuff is just putting the Legos together differently. I've already covered all this stuff in different videos, but sometimes it doesn't all click until you see it fixing your problem that you're experiencing, right? That's, I know that's, that, that's how my brain works. I might see something and they go, oh yeah, I did learn about that a year ago. And now it makes sense. <laughs> but that's it. That's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. 
But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. 
Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.